So I wanted to do just kind of a quick follow-up here. I took this uh, this oscillator part that came out of the uh, the uh, 5343A and discovered that yeah it, it was having an issue. I took the unit apart and discovered that the uh, the trimmer cap that you adjust to this hole had come loose. So when you would adjust it, it would uh, adjust just fine. You get to a certain point and it would just go whatever which way it wanted. High, low, whatever. And you turn it back the other way, the same problem. And once you got it where you wanted, it would sit there and just jitter around back and forth. And uh, you couldn't get it stable. So basically, I had to take it apart. And when you open it up, there is an enclosure once you push it out of the uh, the case there is a lid on here that has uh, four uh, posi drive Phillips screws your adjustment hole is here and when you remove that there is a circuit board in there and the uh, trimmer cap is just a tube it's got one wire coming off here that goes to the back side of the board and there's a jam nut here I was able to take this thing and just ever so slightly move it back and forth. So I took a pair of uh, broad nose needle nose and cinched this jam nut back down. It, I got about a good third of a turn out of it. So I got that done, put it all back together, put it back into my, my test fixture, and now it is rock steady. So. If you come across this issue where you're adjusting the oscillator and you just can't get it adjusted, you start adjusting it and it just goes way out of whack one way and then way out of whack the other way, that is likely the issue, is that this jam nut over the years has just kind of worked its way loose through uh, you know, expansion and contraction and has loosened up. You just need to re-cinch that thing down. Very simple thing to do. There's only... Uh, you know, there's three screws up here, there's two screws on the other side, and you just use, uh, you know, like a little wand like this to push the assembly out of the, uh, out of the enclosure. And then once you get it done, hey, it works. So, another uh, successful repair with one of these. I've never encountered this issue before with any of these. So that's uh, something you might want to look out for. The only other issue I ever had with one of these, and it wasn't an HP one. It was uh, some other uh, brand that I can't remember. I bought an HP 5328A way back in 96. And it came with some weird uh, oven oscillator that I'd never heard the manufacturer. I can't even remember. But uh, I could never get it to adjust. It would always be so far out of adjustment that I would run out of adjustment and so uh, so I basically found another oscillator that was supposed to be in there it was a 10 uh, 544A that was supposed to be in it so I found one installed it and never had any problems since but uh, what happened to the original oscillator is that the thermocouple failed so it was just running hot super hot all the time and you could, no matter how much you made the, uh, no matter how much you adjusted this trimmer, you would just run out of adjustment. And, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> these, these kind of things happen. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, fully functional, so my next service interval, I will just put it back in and, uh, make the minor adjustments. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later.